Hello, I'm Jose Barbosa, and I'm not beautiful. But there are a lot of people who are, and I used to hate them. I thought, who are they to flaunt their physical wellness and ability to walk up stairs without coughing up blood? I used to think like that until I had to start doing things on TV, and I realised there was a reason why Wendy Petrie's still around. She's really attractive, while I'm sort of a cross between Gimli and indie sellout Kevin Smith, with slightly better personal hygiene. So if I want to keep my job and wardrobe allowance, I need to spruce up. I need to be more Jeremy Wells than Bob McNeil. I could turn to cosmetic surgery rag Beautiful You, the latest issue of which features an article by appearance medicine physician Dr Sarah Hart, who suggests taking Botox can alleviate depression. Instead, I think I'll consult the beauty-minded massive for their help, and we're better to find the biggest concentration of people concerned with their appearance than Auckland's Alizé Racecourse on Melbourne Cup Day. I'm sure that here I'll find the path to a more beautiful and palatable me. If you could take a look at me now, and um, sort of tell me what any parts you think I should look at. Shoes. Shoes. Well, I'm not sure about the shoes. Your shoes? Maybe, maybe the shoes. What's wrong with the shoes? Well, the thing is, you're short. Like, when you're short, like I'm short, you've got to have, like, a little bit of a heel. Well, you asked me as a woman, right? And personally, I don't like hair on faces. Full stop. I yeah. probably have a shave. Get rid of the beard, yeah. Maybe that trimmed a little bit more. I mean, look at these. There's some grey ones. I could probably pluck them. You look all right to me. Maybe just trim the hair, dude. That's yeah. all. Yeah, everything else is great. Yeah. Take that off, then you probably look maybe a little bit slimmer. Yes, I quite like a man with a flat stomach. Lose 5, 10 kgs, and I think you'll be in great shape and good. You're not over big. Chicks love poker. They all do. Otherwise, you're just, uh, you know, a fellow who just thinks about himself. Right, right, yeah, right. No, you're doing right. You're, you're, okay? you're, not, you're low maintenance. Eh? It takes different things in everyone's lives to make them happy. If you're happy with how you appear, then who cares? I've learnt so much here. I now know I have to own more than one pair of shoes, that I should tuck in my shirt, and that my cameraman has trouble dressing himself. Actually, his fly's down. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> flying low. Marcus, you're at half mast. <laughs> I've made new friends here who judge me on my appearance and clothes, rather than arbitrary things like character, loyalty, and intrinsic goodness. Um, it's not about looks, it's about what's inside. Inside your wallet? Yeah, yeah. You've got to be cunning. Chicks love cunning as well, hey? That's the thing. I, I tend to not look at myself. I just don't want to know. Well, other than that, you're an extremely attractive man. So all you got to do, keep the lights off, and you're fine. You just don't look at yourself. It's number one tip. With all they've taught me, I'm now ready to start a career in television and take my place alongside Simon and Wendy, Carly, Pippa and Samantha. I've come home. <laughs>